Next, Western Mass News now hearing from students at the University of Massachusetts Amherst on the school's COVID-19 protocols. Cases for the first week of September sit at 149 with a positivity rate of nearly 4%. This comes as the campus is not requiring regular testing of the student body. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo is in Amherst with more. According to the university, students with religious or medical exemptions to the vaccine must get tested twice a week. And while 97% of the student body is vaccinated, breakthrough infections are possible. They're trying to strike sort of a balance between feeling safe and being extra secure. I'm not sure if it's the it's the best approach. Thomas Morton is a senior at UMass Amherst and remembers the rigorous COVID-19 testing from last semester before the vaccine was widely available. Western Mass News has learned that 97% of students are vaccinated and they aren't required to get tested. Maybe not to the extent that last semester was, but maybe some testing uh, should be in place. Some argue the sheer number of students at the school makes mandatory testing difficult. Honestly, there's so many kids here, it's kind of hard to do. This is just so big of a school. Voluntary testing is available on campus for whoever wants it. Masks are required indoors, regardless of vaccination status, if you're a student. But in a recent op-ed in the school's newspaper, The Daily Collegian, a student criticized the fact that professors are allowed to instruct unmasked. Students Western Mass News spoke with said the experience varies by classroom. Like, I don't have a single teacher who doesn't wear a mask when they're speaking. Uh, when they do wear the mask and they have to wear a mic, like it's very muffled. And so it benefits me if they don't wear one. And I think they're far away enough. Western Mass News found that only around 94% of faculty and staff are fully vaccinated compared to that 97% number for the student body. And of those 149 cases for the first week of September, three of them belong to faculty and staff. In Amherst, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.